Yo, Elliot, I am in the healthcare industry. I'm a medical doctor in the last year of study. The pressure is increasing regarding CV-19. And I'm not sure what direction I should go for as a side income. I've checked out online shops and drop shipping. Any advice? You know, it's funny. I was thinking about this the other day because the foot soldiers for the pharmaceutical companies have been the medical industry, right? And an amazing thing is starting to happen, particularly with the nurses. And, and it's, it's amazing in so many different ways, but it seems that women are far more far more standing up, saying no, doing what they have to do in the face of this evil. It's the craziest thing. I belong to a program called, uh, uh, organization called Florida Freedom Keepers, run by all women. Why is that, right? But anyway, so the nurses, the nurses are checking out. They're saying no, right? Maybe they don't have as much invested because they didn't go to medical school. But that piqued a, a, a thought experiment for me. It made me start thinking, about doctors. What if you're a doctor? What if you're a medical student in your last year coming out into this topsy-turvy backwards clown world where truth is lies and lies is truth? Uh, what does a man like that do? And so it got me thinking about licenses and the fucking government's involvement in every aspect of our lives. You can't get married without a license. What does the government have to do with me and this woman? Why the license? You can't go fishing without a license. You can't go hunting without a license. You can't build something without a license. You can't do anything without government regulation, meaning that the government has become our God, G-O-D. Why a license for everything? I think one of the things we have to do is start saying, fuck licenses. And with medical doctors, that's the case. You are legitimately a medical doctor. You went to the school, you paid the money, you passed the classes. Why do I need your license now? Have I not invested enough? Have I not tried and, and strived and done what you asked me to do? But now the game ain't over. You have to ball and chain me with this license. And this is how they threaten you as a doctor. They say, you don't get your license if you don't follow our orders. No matter how evil it is that they, or, 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 or no matter how much evil they want to unfold on you, you're at their mercy because of the fucking license. I know I'm using a lot of foul language here because I, 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 like I said, I had a thought experiment. I was angry at license. I was like, don't ever get a license for anything ever again, right? <laughs> right? Driver's license. Why? Right? Why do I need a license for my firearms? Right? All this stuff is government overreach. Every license is a government overreach. License. The word license right, means that they give you, what is that word? Licentious. I don't know if it's the right word, but they give you leeway. They're saying, oh, you're checked out. You can do it. The government can't even check itself out. The government is so goddamn inept, but yet you're going to tell me whether or not I check out through your license program, it's garbage. So I was thinking about doctors the other day, and you know what? I, who I think are going to be the most, you know who I think the heroes are going to be? Doctors that let their license lapse. Oh, of course, you're, you can't, you, you, you're not going to get their blessing. You're not going to get the government's blessing because you don't have their license. But you can say you're a doctor, right? Anybody can say they're a doctor. Dr. Dre says he's a doctor, right? Change your name to doctor. I am. A, I, did you go to medical school? Yes. Did you pass medical school? Yes. You take all the tests? Yes. Are you licensed? No. Why aren't you licensed? Do not tread on me. That's why I'm not licensed. You will not tread on me. And so I think as people start losing trust in all of the institutions of the establishment, Right. Justifiably, because they've been corrupted. People are going to be more interested in dealing with people that have integrity rather than a license. And so I don't know what kind of tippy toeing on thin ice you need to do in order to practice the way you want to practice. But I also believe that natural medicine 
is the future as well. So you're literally a doctor that could give advice that I could give, right? And that's not to lower you down to my standard. I didn't go to medical school. But the point is, you may have the knowledge to heal people with natural medicine, right? I don't need a license for natural medicine. You may have to be very cautious about the language you use when you're presenting yourself as a professional. You might not be able to say cure or prescribe. You might have to, because this is what they do, they weaponize words. You might not be able to use their weaponized words, but you can come up with a new vernacular. I think there's room for creative medical professionals who are opting out of the garbage system. And so I will just leave you with that. My point, all I will leave you with this is with this. I think there's creative opportunity for you. I wouldn't give up. Don't give up. You're in your last year of medical school. If you truly have an instinct to heal and help people, you can still do it. You can still do it. And they can never take away your medical degree, right? They could say it's invalid. They can invalidate it. That don't mean shit. Take a picture of it. Keep it in your wallet and say, look, I did everything. They wanted me to have this, right? And again, I, don't, I think in the future, you're not even going to have to explain yourself to people because enough people are going to... And if you're in the right communities, this is important, especially moving forward as the world... Uh, is balkanized i think moving forward people will say oh just by mere virtue of you opting out and saying fuck their license i think that there's going to be a market of people that are like that's the kind of doctor i want and they'll work with you is that to say that the system is not going to come and try to sabotage you no is it worth being a martyr for what's right only you can answer that Right? Is that a hill you want to die on? People who go to medical school with good intentions, not just because they want a cushy job, and I don't believe that's you, that's a hill they want to die on. I want to heal people. I want to help people. I really want to do the right thing. And so, you know what, they, you know what happens to martyrs like that? They become heroes. Right? Look at John F. Kennedy. Look at, look at Martin Luther King. Right? Martyred heroes. Martyred heroes. And just, I don't know, your name is... Ahmed Lamb, I don't know if you're Muslim or what, but be the martyr is high, looked upon very highly in Abrahamic faiths, All right? Christian martyrs, Muslim martyrs, right? So be a martyr. <laughs> That's my advice on that, bro. Hope that works out for you, and I hope that helps stir some thought for you. Done. Yo, it's your bro, Elliot. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you ought to know that it was a clip from one of my most recent King Transformation classes with my students, where among other things, we get together about four or five hours a week and we speak on things as it relates to becoming kings in our lives and fitness, business, and with women. If that sounds like you and you want to join a like-minded group of men who are growing stronger every day in every way in this degenerate age, then it's real simple. Just follow me on Instagram, and then DM me the word King, K-I-N-G, and then me and my team will get back to the details to see if you qualify. I really hope to see you at the next meeting. Done.